All right, your animation project is coming up. It is going to be due on or before May the 11th. That's next Friday, not this coming Friday, but the Friday after. So you have all this week and all next week to get this done. Here's your steps that you're gonna follow to do this. It says, number one, choose a fairy tale, tall tale, historic event, Shakespeare play, or myth that you would like to remake and update. The files are posted on the DEM Activities and Projects website so you can download the story you want to use. I will take you to that website before we close this out so that you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, number two, complete a Z-chart about your story. Uh, we won't be turning it in through Office 365. We'll be turning it in through Blackboard, so I will edit that. Let's go ahead and edit that right now. And let's see because everything we're turning in through Blackboard now. Let's get rid of that. All right, we'll turn it in through Blackboard. Then you're gonna use your Z chart to create a storyboard and that also will be turned in through Blackboard. Now, what we will do on that is we're gonna read a story together. If we have time today to do it, we will. If not, we will do it tomorrow. We'll be reading a story and showing you how to create a Z-chart and how to make a storyboard out of that Z-chart. Now, when you create animation projects, when you write movies, whatever it else it is, they have what's called a storyboard. That's where they plan what they're going to do. So that's why it's important that you do the Z-chart first because it'll help you isolate the important events and then you'll create your storyboard. And I will go over those with you. Uh, use your storyboard to create a Powtoon go animate or video that remakes and updates your story. Uh, there's another one I'm going to add to this called Animaker. Have any of you ever tried that one before? Animaker. It's, it's a little bit like go animate. Alright, let's try this again. I happened to find it over the weekend so I wanted to make sure that you guys had the opportunity to use it as well. All right, so Animaker, Powtoon, Go Animate, or just a video that remakes and updates your story. You are to use a combination of graphics, dialogue, text, and music in your animation. You're making a movie out of this. It can be an animated movie. It can be a movie that you make people wear costumes and act it out. I don't care. Any way you choose to do it, I would prefer animation. But if you're unsure how to do that, because we have limited time, I will allow you to make a video. But I really feel like uh, this an between Animaker, Powtoon, and Go Animate, you should have a really easy time putting this together. Let's see. There is no maximum number of slides. Use the number of slides you need to tell your story. For example, in Powtoon, it does it by slides. In um, Go Animate and Animaker, you're going to have scenes that are going to transition and stuff, but they're like slides. So don't look at it like a PowerPoint. Don't look at it like it's a bunch of slides you have to do, because you want those things to transition into each other very, care you know, uh, kind of seamlessly, where it looks like a movie. Let's see. There is no maximum number. Use the number you need to tell your story. Hint: You have five major events on your Z chart and five storyboard spaces. So the minimum number of scenes you're going to need is how many? Five. five. Okay. Give your animation a credit slide. Rem uh, requirements are as follows. List yourself as the editor or producer. You are not the author. You did not make up these stories. You're rewriting them. You're readapting them. But you did not write the story of Beauty and the Beast. You did not write the original Cinderella story. So you're not the author. You are the producer or the editor. Give it a catchy title. Make sure it has your name and class period on it. It can be at the beginning or the end of your animation. And for this project, I will be putting you into groups. There will be three, maybe four people to a group, but there will not be more than four. You will have to work together collaboratively to put this thing together and make it good. Um, I will show you another app that you're gonna be using in order to plan this out tomorrow. It's called Monday. 
and it's like a meeting board where you can put all of your things on there together as your group and everybody can interact with it and know what their responsibilities are. Now at this point, are there any questions about what you're going to have to put into your animation project or what you can use? Anybody not understand the due date? That's a week from this coming Friday, May the 11th. All right, I want you to take a look now at, let me go here. All right, this is the website I was talking about where all of those files are. It's also where I posted all the Max Spindler stuff if you were in here for that. The Holocaust survivor when he was here. You can take a look there. Yeah. All right, down here toward the bottom. And since I've been using Blackboard, you haven't been around on this site very much, so I can understand why you may not know where it is. All right, animation, project, and stories. Now, I need to change the project guidelines because I just adapted them, but this is kind of basically what the project is about. There's a Z chart file right here and a storyboard right here. I will also be uploading those. You'll have a file that looks like this. It's a Z chart, and I will show you how to put that together. Hopefully, we're going to have time in class today. Uh, we won't have time to do the storyboard, but we can at least read through the story and get that part done. And then you also have a storyboard that will be uploaded to Blackboard, and we'll talk about that. All right. Um, stories that you can pick from are right down here. Here's a bunch of Greek mythology stories. Uh, you have great ones to pick from. I will allow you to choose something that's not on here, but you're going to have to show me the story that you're going to choose. Uh, like one time, uh, some, uh, somebody in my class looked up uh, old Navajo legends, and they found some really good stories in there and wanted to update one of those, which they did, and they did a very good job on. All right, so there's lots of stories here. These same stories are represented right down here where it says plays. These are stories where you just kind of read through it, and these are plays, and I'll show those to you in a minute. There are some Shakespeare plays down here that are, now these plays are not long and complicated. They are written on a younger level where they're really short and to the point. So if you're interested in Shakespeare, the storyline is still there. It's just written, um, it's written a little more concisely and a little bit easier to understand. Tall tales are right here. Uh, that's things like John Henry, Davy Crockett, Pecos Bill, those kind of people. And then down here, American history events. If you're not a fan of fiction or stories or whatever, there are some American history events here, and I'll show you what these look like. So let's start up here at the top. Let's say that you wanted to do the story right here of Atalanta. You would download that file. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is how it downloads because this is an actual eight and a half by 11 page that was designed to be copied front and back and then cut in half to make pages in a book. So look at the page numbers. Right here we have page one, and this is page three. Then right here is two, and then here is four. So you need to make sure you're reading the story in order. You're gonna look at page one, then read page two, then page three, then page four. If you don't do them in order, if you don't read them in order, you're gonna get the story all confused. So make sure you're looking at those page numbers. Uh, let's see, let's go back. Uh, the Greek mythology plays. Let's see, where did Atalanta? All right, here's Atalanta right here, the same thing. Right, so let's look at that one, open it up and see what it looks like. Now these are just full page plays. You have characters in there and you can read through these. You can read through them with your group if you want to. You could use the play to, you, to make your dialogue for how you wanna retell it. I'd like for you to come up with your own idea, but you could also use this and set it to an animation if you chose to do that.
All right, so we looked at the stories. We looked at the plays for Greek mythology. Now, the Shakespeare plays are exactly the same uh, as those other stories right here. Remember, you have to look at page one, then page two, then page three, and then page four, etc. going through these. It definitely Shakespeare, if you don't read that in order, you're going to mess up the storyline. Uh, let's see. Tall Tales. Let's look at the tall tale of John Henry right here. Again, these are the same things. These are little half pages. So here's page one. Here's page two. Then go back up to page three, page four, and then you have other sets of pages down here. Make sure you read the story in order. All right, so that was Tall Tales. And the last section down here is American History Events. Uh, let's look at the Boston Tea Party. These files are comic book-like <coughs> files. And these are based on history. These are not made up stories. These are history that have been retold uh, through the eyes of a time traveler, Scooter McGinty. All right, so here's the pages. You would read through these, and then you can tell about it. Again, if you're not a fan of fiction or mythology or anything like that, then or fairy tales, you can feel free to use the history part. All right, are there any questions on those files? Now, I told you that you had to have music in it. The music that you're going to use is going to have to be music that you create yourself as a group. So in order to get your music, you are going to go to Loop Labs. You will have to create your own music. Some of you already have accounts, some of you do not. But you're going to have to create your own music on Loop Labs. There are tutorials on Loop Labs to tell you how to do it. And I would be willing to bet money that at least one person in your group will be really, really good at this and be able to help you with that. Yeah. What's your question? Oh, you're good at Loop Labs? Yes. Yeah, I like Loop Labs a lot. It's really easy to use. Uh, there are just tons and tons of different beats and loops and sounds and all kinds of things that you can put together in your own combination. You can even change the key of it. You can raise it higher and lower. So it's really cool the way that it works. So I'd like to see you guys uh, work with that quite a bit. All right, any question on the animation project so far? Where to find your information and things like that? I'm going to show you a couple of the websites. Um, let's see. You can go to goanimate.com and you can sign up for a 14-day free trial. That's all you'll have it for, though, is 14 days. So do not sign up for this until you're ready to start creating so that you have plenty of time to use it. Does everybody understand that? Don't create it today. Wait on that. Uh, then we have Powtoon. Again, you can have a free account on that, and you don't have to worry about ever really having to pay for it. Mine's still a free account, so you should be able to sign up for a free account on Powtoon. This other one, I haven't worked with very much, but I like it a lot. Uh, it's called Animaker. It's a lot like Go Animate, but again, you can get a free account. And you can even put your own voice in there. You can speak into it and put your voice with the character's voice. Oh, it's like the iPhone TV. Yeah. Well, I don't know about the iPhone thing, because I don't have an iPhone. But I do know that on Animaker, you can record your voices that way. On GoAnimate, they have a lot of voices that are already pre-recorded that are like speech-to-text or text-to-speech voices. Um, I think in the, in the one that I created, all of my people, all my characters have British accents. But um, you can use all different kinds of accents and things like that. All right, um, at this point, we've talked about Loop Labs. I showed you where the files are. 
We talked about go animate and don't sign up for your tr free trial yet. I'm also waiting to hear back from them because I had a teacher account with uh, student accounts within it that was better than this one. And I'm seeing if they're going to let me have it for another month so that we can use it. And then we have Powtoon and Animaker. All right, are there any questions on any of those things, especially on the actual project and what's required for that? All right, uh, we will talk more about your groups and things like that later on. I'm going to stop this video and then we will do the other part where we talk about how to do a Z chart and a storyboard in just a moment.